in 2016 I was working easily 80 hours a week I was in this con constant frantic type of state where I could not stop working because I had to keep everything going in order to keep the bills paid to feed and take care of my family right and what happens is if you if you've worked your way out of a hole and now you're stable you don't want to go back down in that hole so you're gonna you're gonna keep working like crazy and but you're still stuck in this old identity this video I want to talk about something that's radically changed my life and my marriage and my relationship with my wife and it's called date night so 2016 I come home my wife's crying she's sick and tired of it and she's done and she's talking she's throwing the D word around right and huh, I leave at this time I was done I packed my stuff in the back of my old pickup truck and I just started driving anywhere I don't know but I was leaving I'm upset I'm sitting in traffic my friend Joshua Latimer calls me up out of the blue this guy's successful marriage he, he's very uh, he's a smart guy and he says what are you doing Kelfus? I'm like why did you call man if you want to know the truth uh, me and my wife aren't doing so good I I'm a, I'm a workaholic and I have to I have to I have to get all these jobs done I don't understand how I'm supposed to spend all this time with my wife and my family blah, 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 like that type of stuff he's like what are you talking about man you're leaving she doesn't want that she just wants you I'm like yeah but I don't have time to be with her dude because I literally have to work constantly I went to this reactive state right so now I'm in tears and he's like listen man you and your wife need to do a date night I'm like a date night he's like yeah once a week you have date night with your wife. I'm like, once a week? I only have time to do this like maybe once every two months. This is what I believed at the time because all I knew is that I had fought like hell to get us out of the hole. We had finally moved out of this crappy little tiny one bedroom apartment into this condo. The rent was literally double, right? Just so we could get some space. And I didn't know if we were gonna make it through the winter. He's like, listen, it's one night a week. You hang out with your wife, have fun, pop popcorn, watch Netflix, go out to dinner, do something. If you can't afford to go out to dinner, sit home and watch Netflix, right? But spend at least one night a week with, week with your wife. Somehow he talked me out of it, out of uh, whatever was going on in my head, and I went back home, and I walked in the front door. This is after like 30 minutes after getting in a fight with my wife. I walk in the door, and she looks at me, she's like, what are you doing here? I thought you were leaving. And I and we both had a weird smirk on her face. And, she, and she's like, what's going on? I'm like, I want to do date night. <laughs> she goes, date night? What do you, I'm like, yes. We're going to pick a night of the week. And once a week, we're going to do date night. Okay? Now, it's been... 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, five and a half years, my wife and I have done date night consecutively. Every single Tuesday night for five and a half years. We might have missed five nights. One night she was swamped busy in her business. A couple other nights I was out of town speaking. Um, but we always do date night. Okay, the first date night. I'm in anxiety. I got my phone. I'm like, dude, I have all these customers to take care of. I got to do paperwork. I almost wanted to scream and jump out of the uh, car at a red light and just take off and go work. I couldn't stand it. We ended up getting in an argument at the restaurant. It was my fault. And then the next date night, on the next Tuesday, it, it was just really rough. But after about three, four, five weeks of this, staying committed to this date night thing, what happened was the craziest thing happened. I got on the phone with my friend Joshua Latimer again. And, um, I'll put a link to Joshua Latimer's stuff below. He doesn't even know I'm making this video. I just really am thankful for him. He has actually no clue I'm talking about. Um, it became like a habit. And then I'm on the phone with him again. I'm like, this date night thing isn't working, man. We're like fighting all the time. I'm in anxiety. I can't stop looking at my phone. It's not working. He's like, no, 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 no. Date night is something you look forward to. You look forward to date night. I'm like, look forward to it. I'm already with her every night. I fall asleep next to her. I wake up next to her. He's like, you don't get it, man. So here's what happened. Little by little, there was a week where I had a really bad week at work and I was stressed out. It was crazy. Just like now, just like always, right? I mean, there's a million things going on. 
right? I, I love what I do, but I mean, it can get stressful at certain times of the year. I had this thought. I'm like, you know what? I can't wait till date night because it's the one night of this week. It was it was an anger thing. It was like there was one. It's the one night of this week that I can actually say f it and just have the perfect excuse. Because that's what I was looking for is the perfect excuse to just shut off everything in my business, shut off my phone, all my responsibilities, shut them off, and spend the night with my wife. Right? Because any other time, a man. I don't mean like a man, you know what I mean, but you don't really have an excuse, right? There's no excuses, but this was the perfect excuse. Uh, so what I did, I shut my phone off and I hung out with my wife. We went out to dinner. We went out to like Chili's or somewhere and we actually had fun and I liked it. And then I came home and I turned my phone on and I was, the next Tuesday night, we went out to the movies and we were eating popcorn and laughing at the movies and we had fun and we were holding hands on the way out. And then the next Tuesday night, we sat down and watched Netflix and pop. And uh, not every Tuesday night was, was perfect. But when I learned um, this uh, valuable lesson, every day that I get home from work, uh, uh, we sit at the dinner table and we, ate, we eat dinner every night together at the table, my wife and I. That's another amazing thing. And this is because of her her cultural values and her family values. I was born in a barn. I grew up, um, I grew up poor and in the hood, right? We, I, I, we, we're eating cans of government pork and macaroni and cheese. And I've, I've had like, I've lived in 32 different homes. We lived in homeless shelters and all that type of stuff. Like I grew up really broke, right? And I'm glad it's the best thing that ever happened to me. But what I mean is I don't take any credit for any of this stuff. So Here's what I do when I get home from work every single day. I leave my phone in my truck and then I go into the house and I greet my wife and my family, uh, my dogs. I take a shower, hang out with my wife for a little bit. We eat dinner and we hang out and then I go out into my truck and then I grab my phone. So it's like that that couple hours of undivided attention. Because, uh, But especially on Tuesday nights, whenever we go into a restaurant, like uh, I leave my phone either completely at home or I leave it in the car and I turn it off. I don't even bring it into restaurants anymore. And I'm just with my wife. So it's become this one night of the week that I can have an excuse to unplug and let go and just be and be with her. And now uh, every Tuesday, you know, around six o'clock or if seven o'clock rolls around, my wife's like, what are you doing? It's date night. Or if she's working, and it's like six, seven o'clock. I'm like, what's going on? You know, and we're we're excited about date night. We hold each other accountable for it. And um, tonight, my wife's excited. I think she wants to cook something with me. I don't know. I'm actually tonight happens to be date night, so I'm going home. And uh, I'm gonna go have fun with my wife. And I don't care what else happens because. I want to be with my wife and I love my wife and I've had to um, sacrifice everything else around me to put my wife first and it was a really ha long hard journey to be able to do that but she's the one person in this world that I'll drop everything for and uh, to be with and it was a really hard to make those choices and decisions because at the end of the day you don't really have much time at all with all the responsibilities you have going on. So, um, she's that one person. All right. And I think that once you get good at something like that, another thing, if you have kids, this Joshua Latimer guy, he does this thing. He has a kid named Maverick. So he does Maverick Mondays. He has another kid named Tucker, Tucker Tuesdays. So like each night of the week, he has a different time for somebody in his family that even though he, um, spends more time than just one hour a week with them but he gives them like one undivided at least hour or goes takes this one kid out for ice cream or throws football with his other kid like i think about stuff like this so if you get the foundation locked down then little by little by little you can build new things in once you get it down one foundational step at a time and it's so so simple so if you want a successful business it really does start at home because if your home life is in chaos and pain and then agony, it's going to be very hard to run a successful business. Chinada, same, man.
Chanada, say. <laughs>